Hi friends, welcome back to Alaskan Homemaker. I'm Mary. Today we're going to make some Mexican beans in the Instant Pot. I've got a bowl, two pounds of beans that I've been soaking for about 24 hours. I always like to soak my beans. I think they have a good texture and stuff when you soak them. So we're going to get those rinsed. And we're going to get those dumped into our Instant Pot. I'm doubling this recipe. I'll link the recipe in the description box below. I've got a half of an onion. Cut this half in half and get that into the Instant Pot, and we're going to get two teaspoons of cumin in here. This is a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to put some coriander in here. The recipe doesn't call for coriander, but I'm going to put some in here since I have it. I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of coriander. going to put three bay leaves I'm going to get some thyme and I'm just going to rub the thyme in here I'm not going to measure that but probably about a teaspoon okay, this is about four garlic cloves worth some homegrown frozen garlic puree. So we'll get that in there. And here is some cilantro leaves that I washed and I'm just going to drop that in the top. And then here's some better than bouillon. There's like a about a heaping tablespoon left in my jar, so I'm just going to put that all of that into here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then I'm just going to cover this with water. It calls for um, eight cups of water per pound of beans. But I've been soaking these for 24 hours, so I'm just going to cover the beans with water, but I don't want loads and loads of water in here. Okay, I'm going to stir in this bouillon. Just mix it in there a little bit. And some of those spices down in there, and the onion and garlic down into there. Okay, and then we're going to get the lid on, and we're going to cook this on high pressure for 30 minutes. Okay, we'll make sure it's on sealing. And... Okay, we'll get that on. Pressure cook. For 30 minutes and it's on high pressure there we go and then I'll let this natural release and then I'll bring you back we've got our beans going Mexican beans in the instant pot and now we're gonna get going on our Spanish rice so this is my homegrown garlic that I froze the puree and we're gonna get a couple cloves of garlic's worth sliced off of there. 
and I'm preheating this pan. I've got it on medium. There's our garlic. You know recipes always call for like one tablespoon of tomato paste. So on parchment paper, I freeze little dollops of the rest of the tomato paste and then freeze it and then cut the little parchment papers and put it in a freezer bag. And so when you need it, you can just pull one out instead of opening a, another can of tomato paste. You can use all your tomato paste. So I've got a couple tablespoons of this that we're gonna use in a little bit. And we're gonna get our onion chopped. Those Mexican beans already smell really good in here. It's gonna be delicious. There we go. And we'll get that onion peel into our veggie scrap bag for broth. Squeeze all the air out. And we'll get that back into the freezer. Okay, and we just need probably about three teaspoons worth of onion. So I'm probably just gonna slice two rings off and dice that up finely. And I've got some avocado oil, so I'm gonna get a couple tablespoons of avocado oil in here. Here's two cups of short grain rice. We'll get that in here. We're gonna let this rice get toasted up in the skillet. burner up just a little bit above medium now and we're, it's starting to get a little a little bit of browning on the rice I want it to get a little bit more browned up it has toasted up a bit so that's pretty good and now we're going to get the garlic and the onion into there We're gonna get our tomato sauce, a couple tablespoons of, oh, tomato paste, excuse me, into there. It was frozen, it thawed out a little bit. And you can also just put diced up tomatoes in here if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna turn this heat down just a bit. Now. and I'm gonna get some paprika, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of coriander. and stir that up a bit, toast those spices a little. Okay, and now I'm gonna get some water in here and some chicken bouillon, better than bouillon. So okay, that's gonna steam up a lot. So be careful. Okay, and then I've got my better than bouillon, and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that in here. Okay, 
Ooh, it smells so good. It smells delicious. I'm gonna get that mixed in there. That's still at a, um, a little bit of a boil. And now we're gonna cover it and we're gonna turn it on the lowest that we can. And we're just gonna let, we're not gonna disturb it. We're gonna let that rice soak up the water. If it looks like it's getting dry, then I might add some more water and put the lid back on. Be, um, that way, you know, we want our rice fully cooked. Okay, so I'll bring it back on the next step. Now we're gonna get some beef enchiladas going. I'm doubling our dinner tonight. A wonderful lady in our church just had her baby and the, our church has a meal train for ladies who just had their baby and I'm on the meal train for tonight. So I'm making a Mexican dinner. So we've got the Spanish rice going, we've got the Mexican beans going, and now we're gonna start on the beef enchiladas. Okay, so we need some onion. So I'm going to use the rest of this onion. Let's see, I'm gonna move this hamburger out of the way. Okay, there we go. It's kind of like a Tex-Mex style of enchiladas. I don't think it's like an authentic one, but it tastes really good. My son loves these enchiladas. They're one of his favorite. It's one of my favorites too, it's really good. Okay, we're gonna get some of our homegrown garlic. We'll get four cloves of garlic's worth. So I think that looks pretty good. And we'll get that plastic peeled off. And our rice is looking good. I did add a little bit of water, so if your rice looks dry and it doesn't look fully cooked, just add some extra water and it'll do good. go ahead and open up this. I've got a can of diced green chilies that I'm going to go ahead and open up. Go. Okay, and we're going to start browning up our hamburger in our Dutch oven. There's our rice bubbling away. I'll bring it back when the hamburger's browned up. Our meat has browned up and I drained the grease and now I'm going to get the onions and garlic in here. Also going to get some spices in here. I'm going to put one teaspoon of cumin. This is three pounds of hamburger and I'm going to put three, I mean oh, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of chili powder, and I've got some Korean beef broth. It's a powdered beef broth, and I'm going to put two teaspoons of that in here. extra water in here, but the rice is doing good. And you just want to taste it and see how the rice is doing if the kernels of rice are getting cooked. And they're doing good, so I think I won't have to add any more water to it. But just keep checking on it as you go. Okay, and I'm gonna get our can of diced green chilies into here also. 
I wish y'all could smell it. It smells so good. We love Mexican food. This is going to be so good. A couple spoons. I'm going to give this a try. Okay, I'm going to add two more teaspoons of my Korean beef broth powder. If you don't have Korean beef broth powder, you can just use regular beef broth powder. I'm gonna add one more teaspoon of chili powder and paprika also. I like to taste the spice levels and see how they're doing to see if they are where they need to be. That way you can add it in. Okay, I've got a clean spoon here. So we're going to try this again and see how it is. Mmm, that's really good. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to check the water level on the rice. Oh, good. And it looks like all that is, the rice is cooked. You don't want it to disturb the rice until it's fully cooked. So all of it has drained, and I have tasted the kernels to make sure, the rice grains to make sure that they are fully cooked. And they are. So now, at once it's done, then you can fluff it up, the rice. Ooh, and it's looking very good. Okay, so let's give this a taste and see how it is on the salt level. Ooh, that's good. I did add a half a teaspoon of salt just on the top of the water while it was cooking and then I just mixed it all in. And now our rice is done. And our beans are, Mexican beans are done over here in the Instant Pot also. But I'm letting them do a natural release. All right, now we're going to make our sauce for our beef enchiladas. And I just took the Mexican rice out and I'm just, all these flavors are the exact same flavors. So I just, Wiped it with a paper towel, but I didn't give it like a scrub because they're all, it's all going to be the same spices and things. So I'm going to get one cup of butter in here. We're going to get our spices ready. I'm going to get a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of coriander. Two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of chili powder, and two teaspoons of the Korean beef broth powder. mix up our little spices here. And our butter's melting nicely. I'm gonna turn it up just a little. It's on the burner's on medium low. Here, our butter's pretty much melted. I've got a cup of flour here. And we're gonna go ahead and put our spice blend in here so that can get mixed in 
with a flower. It looks like all our flowers absorbed and mixed in there nicely. Now we've, I've got some water here. We're going to get some water mixed in there. And we're just going to get enough water in there to the thickness, like a gravy thickness. Oops, that was a big splash. This is going to be a delicious sauce for our enchiladas. I think I'm going to grab a whisk. I'm going to add another teaspoon of paprika and chili powder. I want this to the color to be a little more red. I want it to be thick, but not overly, overly thick. A gravy consistency will be perfect. I'm going to turn this on to low. Okay, and it's still pretty thick, so I'm going to get some more water. Okay, that seems pretty good, and we're going to give that a taste test. I'm going to get a clean spoon, and we'll taste our salt levels and seasoning. Okay, I am going to add another teaspoon of chili powder and paprika and some more Korean beef broth. I'm going to add two teaspoons of Korean beef broth. And then we're going to get another clean spoon, give this a mix and another taste test. We want this to be really good. Okay, it looks like it's mixed in good. So here's a clean spoon. We'll give it another taste. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, and we're going to preheat our oven to 350. And we'll start putting our enchiladas together. Okay, we're ready to start assembling our beef enchiladas. I'm gonna spray the pan. This is the one that's gonna be for the family that we're bringing dinner to tonight. So I put it in an aluminum pan, that way they won't have to worry about doing dishes. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this sauce into the bottom of the pan. Spread that around. And I've got a stack of homemade tortillas that I made yesterday because I knew I was going to be making the beef enchiladas. So we're going to use that. Let's see, I'm going to put 
put you out a little farther so you can see what we got going on here. I've got the cheese here and some extra cheese in case we need it. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna, this is really hot, but we're gonna dip the tortilla into here. Get that all over and then let the excess come off. And then we're gonna get this onto the plate and we're gonna put some of our beef mixture in here. And some cheese. Okay, and then we're gonna roll it up. And my fingers are gonna get really messy, but that's okay because it's gonna be worth it. There we go, there's one. Ripping. Oh, 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 okay. I'm gonna get it on here. That's okay. All right, and then we're gonna just keep rolling. And all this stuff is the everything's really hot, so just be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. All right, now let's see if we can get this rolled up. Okay, I think it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna slide it on over. There we go. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to do a quick dip. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna top this with some more sauce. Here we go. And then we're going to sprinkle this with some cheese. And this, so this one is going to be for the family that we're bringing dinner to tonight. And then I've got a pan for our family. I'm gonna get a spatula ready because we don't want any of that wonderful sauce to go to waste. You can wait for the sauce to cool off a little bit, but you probably don't want it to be all the way like cold when you do this, because it kind of warms up the tortillas and everything while you're dipping it into the sauce and everything, so. So our enchiladas are ready to go into the oven. And the oven is set at 350 degrees. And we're gonna get our enchiladas in there. And as soon as it's heated through and the cheese is melted, then it will be done because everything's cooked on it. So we'll get those into the oven and I'll bring you back when they're finished. Our delicious Mexican food is all done. We've got Mexican rice, Mexican beans, and our beef enchiladas. Now for the taste test. I added some oregano and some more Korean beef broth to the Mexican beans. So just season them to taste. Mmm, that's really good. Now for the rice. Ooh, that's delicious too. All right, now let's try the beef enchiladas. Looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. That is delicious. If you enjoyed this recipe, please click on the thumbs up 
And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That way you won't miss any of our recipes. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.